Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amuls Academy. Previously in this video series we discussed about the namespace and variable scope, LEGB rule and closure. So today in this tutorial we are discussing about the decorators. But I can't cover this decorator concept in one video. That's why I'll make three parts. Okay. So today we'll cover part one, next part two and next part three. So in part one, we'll discuss what is decorators and how to use them, how to create them. Okay. And also we'll see few examples. Okay. Generally, what is the meaning of decorators? It's nothing but the person who does the decoration job, right? So now the question is what is decoration? So decoration is nothing but adding something to make a thing more attractive or presentable right this is the proper definition of the decoration in the daily life we'll use this word a lot right we'll decorate our house why to make it more attractive presentable right we'll decorate ourselves we'll use accessories makeup etc why to look more attractive or presentable in the same way if i want to give a gift to my friend okay so what I'll do, I'll go to shop and I'll buy a watch. Okay. So think that this is the watch and I can directly give it to my friend. Okay. So this is the one way or what I can do is I'll wrap it this gift or the present in the gift box. Okay. I'll use that cover and all. I will make it more presentable and I will give it to my friend. Here the gift remains same that is watch I am giving watch to my friend but here I can make it more presentable by wrapping it in a box and attaching few stickers I can make it more presentable right that's what the python decorators will do okay it will take up function and it will add some functionality to it and it will return that so I can say if it is a decorators it will take a function okay add some functionality here and it will return it simple okay so if you want standard definition then you can say a decorator in python is any callable python object that is used to modify a function or a class so it is a callable python object callable is nothing but anything which we can call like we can call function so it is callable so decorator is a callable python object it is used to modify a function or a class okay there will be two type one is function decorator another one is class decorator but for now, whatever the example I'll take, I'll take it on function. Okay. We'll see the example on function decorator now. But in the last tutorial on this decorator, we'll see about the class decorators. Okay. Okay. So now to understand this decorator concept, we need to know few other concepts. Okay. Few basic concepts in that first one is we need to know what is nested function. And secondly, we need to know function can return functions. That is a function can return another function. Okay. Function can return. One function can return another function. And the third point is function names are reference. Okay. If I just mention the function name, that is nothing but it is the reference to that function. It is nothing but memory location of that function. Okay. And the last point is we can use functions as parameters. So we can use a function as a parameter of another function. Okay. So in this, this one that is nested function, function return function and reference. This three we discussed in the previous tutorial while explaining about the closure. I explained about the nested function how to return a function as well as what happens if I return a function without parenthesis that is the reference. Okay. I discussed about this three. 
so here i won't explain much about this okay i'll take an example and i will show you but i didn't explain about this how to use function as parameter so we'll see that now so i'll explain you about that so first we'll see the example for this three this is the example which we took in the previous tutorial while explaining about the closure okay so here we can see a function outer inside that okay we can see another function in now if i define a function inside another function then that is called as nested function okay here we can see inner is defined inside the outer function that's why inner function is the nested function okay so done with the nested function next here we can see we are returning inner so here i can return inner function okay here this outer function is returning another function inner okay i can do this okay it will execute this inner function whatever the result will get it will return that okay and that will be stored in a and we can print a next thing is here in python everything is an object okay so if i return in a just function name without parenthesis then what will happen if i use a function name without parenthesis then that will return the reference to that function okay memory location of that function okay that will be stored in this name a and i can give multiple name to this inner function here we are returning the reference of inner function okay so here a is the another name given to this inner function here if i check a dot name it will give inner so a is nothing but the another name given to this function so here in python functions names are reference and we can give multiple name to a function okay this is the example for that if you want more explanation then please go and watch the previous tutorial i will give you the link in the description box okay so now we'll see how to use function as parameter to another function okay so for this i'll define a function okay i'll give function 1 i won't take any parameter i'll just print hi i am function 1 okay next here i'll define another function function 2 here i'll take the parameter as func so it is a function okay it is the reference to a function so it is the parameter now here first i'll print hi i am function 2 now i call now i'll call function 1 okay so here i'll call this function okay next here what i'll do is i'll call the function 2 and pass argument as function 1 okay here we can see i'm not calling the function one okay i'm not calling this function i'm just mentioning the name of the function that's nothing but it is the reference to this function one okay it will pass that as argument to this function two and here we are calling that function okay so now if i save this and run this hi i am function two now i will call function one so here we can say hi i am function one okay so in this way we can pass function as the parameter to another function okay so done okay so now we learned all the basic concept which are helpful to understand the decorator concept now we can go to the decorator concept and we can create the decorator okay so for this here i'll take a simple function okay this function is printing a string okay so i'll take my function name as print str i won't take any parameter it just return a message okay so like good morning okay 
so to call this function i need to mention the function call right because this function is returning something it is not printing but it is the value returning function i need a name to store that result or i need to print like this print if i save and run this we'll see this message okay so this is the simple ordinary function now if i want to decorate it like i want to change this alphabet to uppercase letter okay but here i don't want to do any changes i have this function i don't want to do any changes here okay so for this what i'll do is i'll use decorators okay so here we'll define a decorator function so for that i'll use def keyword next the function name you can give any name so here i'll take name as str upper because we are changing the case to upper right and here i'll take one parameter as f u n c that is the function reference here because we are applying the decorator on some function right so for that here we need that that's why okay next here inside i need to define another function so here you can take any name i'll take inner and i won't take any parameter here because here we can see in this function there are no parameters that's why here i won't take any parameters okay okay here we need to change the alphabets to upper case letter so for this we need this string right for that i need to call this function okay so here i'll call that function first now this function is returning something so here i need a name to store that so i'll take str1 next what i'll do is this function will return str1 dot upper method i'll use upper method to change the case of the string to upper case okay so i'll use upper here so next now this inner function will return this result okay it will change the case of the string and it it will return that sorry here you just mentioned f u n c because here we can see we are using this function but here the name is f u n c right that's why you should mention f u n c here right okay now here we can see inside this str upper function there is only function definition we need to call this right so here i'll use return and i'll take in a just function name so it will return the function reference right we discussed about this if i just mention the function name that is nothing but the reference and we are returning that reference of function here okay so now here this is the old function call what i'll do is i'll call this str upper function because this function is returning the function reference here i'll take a name okay so you can take any name here i'll take d okay so str upper here print str so here we can see the function call str upper i am calling this function and here we can see the argument this is the function name this function name okay so i am passing this function name as the argument to this function okay so now if i print d i need to call this function because d is now just a reference to execute that i need to call that good morning and good morning this is the output from this print okay and after decorating it we can see the output in the upper case letter okay okay here what we did is we know that we can assign a function to a variable or a name right that's what we did here to call this decorate function okay here from this we will get the function reference that will be stored in this name and we are calling that name okay we are calling that function so it will print the result this is the function call to decorator but this is not the way to use the decorators in python instead of using like this that is storing the function reference in a name and calling that this is not a way 
instead of that we'll use at symbol followed by the decorated function name so that's nothing but this is equal to at decorator function name okay and that at decorator name decorator function name we need to use right above the function which we want to decorate here we want to decorate this function right so here i need to mention that at and the decorator function name that is nothing but this str upper so here i should mention str upper okay just this decorator function name you should mention okay so now this is not needed okay so now if i save this and run this here we can see the good morning now here we are decorating this function that's why when i print this function call result we'll get the decorated output okay we'll get the output in the upper case letter okay this is the correct way to use decorators in python it followed by the decorator function name okay so this is the one example and here we can see this function which we decorated doesn't contain any parameters but if it contains parameter then how to decorate it the next question so for this i'll take another example so here first i'll take dy it take two parameters a comma b it will return a divide b i'll call this function print div 4 comma 2 so it will print 2.0 okay it will divide two values but if i take this as 4 comma 0 the second value is 0 then we'll get the result as a trace back error zero division error okay we can't divide by zero so instead of getting this result we can handle it using decorators okay so here we can use the decorators i'll use you can give any name okay here i'll take function here i need to take an inner function you can take any function name here we need two parameters because here we can see there are two parameters you can take any name like x comma y okay or you can take a b also here i'll check if y becomes zero okay i'll return give proper input i'll print this message okay else return the function the function name is func here okay that's why you need to mention func and here return in now okay so here this is the decorator function here we can see the inner function it takes two parameters if the second value becomes zero so this value becomes zero then i'll print this message okay give proper input and because it is returning this value if this condition becomes true it will return this value and it will come out of this function okay it won't execute further so that's why if that condition become false it will come here and it will it will execute this statement okay so if you want you can write else this statement also both are same okay so here i want to decorate this function so here i need to mention at and the name of the that decorator function decorator right so now if i save this and run this give proper input instead of getting this error it will print this message okay so this is the another example which will tell how to decorate a function which contains parameters all right this is all about the decorators Decorator is a callable function object which will take a function and modify it and it will return that function. Okay. So in the decorator, using decorator is easy. We just need to mention at symbol and decorator name above the function which we want to decorate and we are ready to go. But creating decorator is little bit trickier. 
okay that we need to define that function right that part so while creating the decorator we need to remember three things okay first one is it need to take a function second one is it need to modify that third one is it need to return a function okay so it need to take a function modify function and return a function so now i'll show you the example this is the one example which we took the functions names are different but here we can see this is the decorator right we use this decorator on this function using this decorator is very easy at and followed by the decorator function name and it will decorate this function simple but here this is the decorator function we need to write this while writing this as i said we need to remember three things the first one is it need to take a function okay so here we can see so this function is taking a function as parameter right here f u n c nothing but it is the function reference and the second thing is it need to modify that uh, function right it need to add some functionality to that function here we can see here we are adding some functionality we are calling this function next we are changing the case of the alphabets here right we are adding some functionality next finally it need to return a function here we can see it is returning a function here inner is a function here we are returning the function reference so that's why this is the decorator function so if you ask why we are using nested function here because we need to modify the function as well as we need to return that for that we need nested function okay that's why here we use nested function and next thing if you return function here what will happen okay instead of uh, returning this reference if you return this function then what will happen nothing here just you need to remove this okay you can't call that now because it is returning the value okay so you can't call that now here if i save this run this it will give the output okay no problem if you take the reference here then you need to call this if you return the function itself then you just need to mention the function reference here if you do this then we'll get the error okay str object is not callable because this function is returning an string and you are calling that string that's why you are getting the error if you just print that like this then no problem okay so that's about the decorators in the next tutorial also we'll continue the discussion on this topic so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care